This is skill number 18, range of motion of the hip and knee. Hi, my name's Jeanette. I'll be your nurse's aide today, and I'm here to help you with your range of motion exercises for your hip and knee. First, I'm going to sanitize my hands. Use my alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Rub it all over my hands and wrists until it's dry. I don't need any supplies for this skill, so I don't have to gather anything. I'm going to pull the privacy curtain. Anytime that you're going to do any range of motion exercises, roll your resident, anything like that, you have to make sure that the head of the bed is flat. So I'm going to flatten the head of the bed. And I'm going to raise this bed to a good working height, mid thigh to waist level. Whenever you do your range of motion exercises, you need to make sure that you're supporting the joints. So if I'm doing range of motion for the hip and knee, I'm going to have one hand underneath of her knee and one hand underneath of her ankle. You need to make sure your critical element is going to be verbally asking the actor if they're having any pain. So you need to make sure you do that at least once. We're going to start going out and then back in, and that is referred to as abduction adduction does that hurt let me know if you have any pain and you need to do that three times next we're going to do flexion and extension does that hurt two and three and come over here make sure she's in proper body alignment she's in Now she's in proper body alignment. Put her bed back down because you never want to leave your resident up in the air in case they would fall. Open her privacy curtain. Is there anything else you need? I'll give you your call light. And sanitize my hands again. 